Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where to uh, look at the answer to your question. So if you look at the procedure sheet, actually, you, you may not have this one page, it's page one, um, but it kind of shows you at the bottom what the sheet you sent a picture of looks like. So see where it's got like the step and the material treated, reagent, uh, color, precipitate, and all that stuff in the equations. So here's how you fill it out. <clears throat> Every time that you do a step where you're adding a chemical, so not like if you're adding water or you're centrifuging, but if you're like adding a chemical, so um, you're going to enter in that you did something. So if you look here, see how in step one of part A, you're adding 10 drops of three molar NaOH, okay? that's going to cause a reaction to occur. Like if you add a chemical, a reaction is going to occur. That's why we're adding them, right? So you're adding NaOH. So the equation for that's right down here, right? It shows you that when you add the NaOH, you're adding OH minus hydroxide. And so you're going to get this reaction. So there's the equation that you're looking for. Now, the terminology that we're using here is that you have a material treated. So here's actually that first step. In step A, right, it's part A, but, but remember A has part one and part two, there's two steps there. So step one, so I'm gonna call it A1. <clears throat> what are you treating? Like, what are you adding the reagent to? And you're adding it to the group one known, the test tube that has group one known. What is the reagent? What is it you're adding to? Well, you're adding three molar NaOH. Then there's observations. Do you see anything happen? <clears throat> And in fact, you do, right? You see that there's a precipitate that forms. It's sort of a dark green or a gray color. So you write that down. Then there's a solution. You can see some liquid in there and the liquid is a little light green. Some of that's interpretation of how you perceive color. So there's no exact correct answer for that one. Um, and then you write the equation down. So you just copy the equation down. Then you go to like, you know, I mean, the thing about part A is it's very short. You only do a couple steps, right? And then you go on to part B. So then, you know, the next thing you're going to put in here is, you know, B. And you can leave a line. You have a lot of space in this sheets because you've got like eight pages. So you can leave space. It's going to be like B1 or B2. And then, you know, you're just kind of going through it chronologically. So what are you going to be? You're going to be adding NH3H2O or NH4OH, sometimes it's called, right? You're adding it to the group one known, right? And, and now look what happens. They're gonna tell you um, what actually happens in terms of the equations. They're all right here. So see, it's, it's, it's written out after step three. The equations for step one, right? So that would be B1. There's three equations, right? So that put one on each line. So just take up three lines for that step. And then, in step three, the equation is this one right here, right? So you're just gonna go through, you know, A, B, C, D, which is ammonium, bismuth, silver, and copper. And you're gonna fill all those out. The equations will just, you know, by the time you're done with that, all the equations that are in the handout further on will be into that. And um, you're just writing down the colors and stuff. Okay, this should be filled out not after. It shouldn't be filled out the next day. It should be filled out while you're doing it so that you know what you're observing while you're seeing it. Because you, you, you're not gonna remember all these colors um, after, after the fact. Okay, hopefully that.